Hey everyone, welcome to another quick tip tutorial and may I present to you the Blender default cube um, yes, this time we'll be using the default cube, we'll not delete it and we'll make a gift out of it so it's Christmas time, so I thought I will show you how to make a nice gift wrap very quickly using curves and if you're new to the channel and you'd like to see quick tip tutorials like this in the future please hit that subscribe button and the bell button to get notified when I release something new and now without further ado let's get to it let's get started with that gift wrap let's leave the default cube in the scene and let's now just delete the camera and the point light here and what I want to do with the cube we'll select it tap into the edit mode and we'll press G then Z and 1 to shift this 1 meter up so the origin point stays at the bottom that's the only thing I want to do right now now we can tab out and now we can proceed and create a ribbon and as I said I will use curves for this so first of all let's go into the edit mode here and we'll create a loop cut there press ctrl R and create a loop cut here in the middle and release with the right click and now I want to duplicate this and separate from the object so press shift D press enter and P enter to separate and now let's go to the edge select by pressing 2 and press ctrl X to dissolve we don't need that loop in the gift itself so tab out and select this new loop that we just separated go into the edit mode press 1 for the vertex select and now select all by pressing A and now we can scale this up a tiny bit so press S and scale it up and you can hold shift for small increments and now we'll press ctrl B and then V or ctrl shift B for vertex bevel and we'll increase the number of segments with the mouse wheel and create something like this okay now let's select all again press shift D and R Z 90 to rotate 90 degrees let's tap out and we'll convert this to curve so go to the object convert to curve from mesh and we'll need some bevel profile to make this into a ribbon so let's press shift A go to curve and create a rectangle if you don't see these options here um, you might want to go into the preferences add-ons and activate add curve extra objects add-on and that will expand these options for the object creation here so let's add the rectangle and now we can tab out move this to the side a little bit and scale it on Y axis so press S then Y and scale it down so this will be the profile we'll be using and now we can select the curve go to the object data properties expand the geometry section and let's select the bevel object here so I will click this eyedropper tool and click the rectangle and this is too large so we can either make the radius of the curve smaller or scale the rectangle itself so I will scale this down you can see how this get wrapped very nicely okay so this is the first step for creating a gift and now we can continue creating a ribbon so let's select the cube tab into the edit mode let's go for a face select with number three select the top face hold shift s and snap cursor to select it and now we can tab out press shift a curve and add a circle and now we can rotate this so press r x 90 degrees and r z 45 so it's position diagonally across the gift and now we can go into the edit mode press s to scale this down and additionally press s then z to scale this on a z axis as well and now we can do the same here this is already a curve so we can just pick the bevel object here and click the rectangle and you can see this might look a little bit different than we wanted um, but that's easily fixable just go into the edit mode of the curve and with all of the points selected press N to expand the side panel and you can see there is a tilt and you can tilt the curve however you want so we'll need to set this to 90 degrees and this is now behaving like we want it and now tab out and we'll move this a little bit up and scale it down additionally like this okay that's quite all right and if you want different size than the ribbon around the gift you can press alt s and modify the radius um, of the curve so I will do that right now here okay and we can now continue so let's tab out press shift A and we'll add a path so just look up a path in the curve add menu and now let's go into the edit mode and I will shift this on the x-axis 
a little bit so press G then X and move it like this so we leave the origin point here in the middle we are just moving the control points and now let's look from the front by pressing one on the numpad and we can shape our ribbon so let's just move these control points around like this And you can extrude new ones as well. So this is something we are looking for here. And now just position those points in a way that you like this to be in the end. So something like this. And now if we exit the edit mode, we can press R, Z and rotate this 45 degrees minus as well. And again, we can pick the bevel profile here in the geometry settings and create a ribbon out of that. And now if we go into the edit mode, we can scale up the radius of some of these control points. So let's select these three here and let's press Alt S to make it wider. Maybe this one here in the middle even more. So again, look for something that looks nice to you that you really like and create some nice shape. So this way it's very easy to create objects like this um, using just curves and some bevel profiles. And now we can exit the edit mode, go into the modifiers and just add a mirror that will create this on the other side as well. And of course you can always just scale this up or change the radius of the profile. And now the one last thing I want to do, let's move this up a little bit is to create the last part of the ribbon so let's press shift a and again we'll add the path now once again tap into the edit mode press g then x and move it to the side and we can additionally scale this down and move towards the middle and now let's tap out and in the object mode we'll rotate this um, so press r z and place it in between the bow and the ribbon here and now just tab in and we'll modify the shape a little bit. So bring some of these control points up and the end point down so it hangs over the gift. And now tab out and again in the object data properties we'll pick the bevel profile here and modify it a little bit. So we can place these control points a little bit better and of course modify the radius so press Alt S to scale it up and here as well okay and now since we can just mirror this um, I think the best thing here will be to duplicate this so press Alt D for a link duplicate RZ for rotation and just rotate it to the other side and this way we can have some variation here so you can pick whatever angle suits you here and there you have it there's your ribbon and now we can additionally scale this if you want it wider and right click and shade smooth and additionally we might fix this middle part here so shift it down maybe let's tab in and let's play with the radius and if you want it more bulky you can always just duplicate this rectangle here so press shift d y to move it a little bit and then make it larger and now just switch the profile here so remove the rectangle and select the new one and you will see this will be more bulky and i think this will look good here so we can just scale this up and we can move all of this a little bit up and position it a little bit better the shading here looks a little bit weird because there's not a lot of geometry going on so you can always apply something like subdivision modifier if you want to make it more smooth so let's do that and let's press ctrl 2 to add two levels of subdivision for all of these objects and we'll see this looks much better now but still if you go into the edit mode you can easily uh, position this and even if you want to do some nice animation you can modify the bevel start and end values and animate those to create some kind of um, a 
effects or something whatever you want so this is the gift for you i hope you will find it useful to use curves um, for modeling like this and now as always i will just proceed create a little composition add some colors materials some some basic lighting and stuff like that so we get a nice image out of it so let's do this right away So that's the gift scene for you. You can see I've just duplicated the gifts around, created some kind of composition and then added lights that enhance those reflective materials. And you can see how easy it is to use curves in this way to quickly model something that you can use as maybe a Christmas themed image for your social media or in some quick Christmas brand communication or whatever you have. So yes, that's it for me this time. And again, if you're new to the channel and you like to see quick tips and tutorials like this in the future, hit that subscribe button and the bell button to get notified when I release something new. Thank you all for watching and remember, I'll be back. <laughs>